Now, at our last lunch, we learned of the generous contribution of the Annenberg Foundation of Los Angeles of $500,000 US to the uh, Global Civic Policy Society. Now, that grant was contingent upon having local founding sponsors come forward uh, to support the initiative. At the time, a number of sponsors spoke. But since that time, uh, there's been a number of additional founding sponsors who have contributed generously, and some of them are here today, and some of those uh, sponsors, those founding sponsors, have agreed to say a few words. So I would like to ask uh, Sam Sullivan to come uh, to the stage uh, with some of our sponsors. And as I call them up, would they uh, also come uh, up, just come up to the stage uh, as well. Um, David Choi is founder and CEO of Royal Pacific Realty and the Real Estate Group. He volunteers on many boards and has affiliations with the SFU Center for Dialogue, the CK Choi Building at UBC, which was donated by his father, and the University of Winnipeg Global College. He is a much sought after commentator with both English and Chinese language media. David Choi. <laughs> Mamie Angus, 18 years ago, went to France with their friend Sherry Killam, where they bought trailers full of French antique furniture. Since that time, their yearly sale has become a Vancouver icon. She's active with the Vancouver Recital Society, Society, the Heritage Foundation, and the Shaughnessy Design Panel. Mamie Angus. <laughs> Paul McRae is one of the founders of the Heritage Furniture Group with over 200 staff in South Vancouver and is active in community service in the Rotary Club. In one of his weaker moments a couple of decades ago, he ran for political office. I think that was brave. <laughs> Paul McRae. <laughs> Michael Stevenson is the president of Simon Fraser University, a fast-growing uh, university. Michael Stevenson has brought leadership to the uh, uh, university in the last uh, several years. Michael Stevenson. There he is. And Lauren Siegel, who is the head of Kingswood Properties and a director of the Vancouver Board of Trade, he understands the importance of giving back to community. He's taken a leadership role in helping the Coast Mental Health Foundation and has served as chair of its signature annual fundraiser, the Courage to Come Back Awards. He believes in the power of the human spirit to make positive change in the world Recently, he was the chair of We Day of Vancouver, which saw 16,000 youth leaders gather at GM Place during the visit of the Dalai Lama to celebrate the power of youth to change the world. Thank you to all of you.